All right, operation starting procedure. Cold bullet there. Assume that if any of the repairs have been with the maid since the last firing with the bullet, the water with the fire set, the bullet have been thoroughly been inspected and cleaned it off. They ain't broken the tools, the rags, the scrap, scrap, etc. With the mic of the trouble during the operation. Also, with all hand holes that had been turned properly tight and checked with all the remote and automatic valves operating with the check, the old meter with the fill with the vent and the check, and chemical tanks filled with the procedure outlined below with the starting with the cold from the cold boiler bank boiler will mainly uh, concern with the. The terminal procedure um, personnel with the not road with the crew with each of the valves suitable to identify by the tag attached to the valve with the general the general location of the valves are shown in table B and C with the steps by the operating operation as follows. Checks and set valves. All mainly operative the valves but you for the normal operation should be set with the position indicated in table B. The filer out and file on fill the boiler with if the boiler has not been previously drained, it may be necessary to add the sum of the water to bring the level of the drum up within the starting limit of the water with the need to fill the water bolt convenient over the three methods outlined in the following section. First method of using the roundhouse steam of the cold pump, connecting the hose with the rear roundhouse steam line with the cold pump steam with um steam connection with the left rear over the, the locomotive opening valve with the S book six forty nine. Make sure the uh, man responsible for the boiler water treatment has been charged with the chemical batch tank with the forge forty one W forty one and closed drain four forty three. W443, the thermite compartment connect, um, contact with the vent with the chemical batch with the feed water line with the valve with the SW712 and the opening of seven, S, SW712. Open the check ba ba batch tank valve W42 in the an outlet valve. Open the tender valve W1, W17, um, W48, and W42. With the check the oil level, the bearing of the check, pump, the check of the bullet, drop, drop, drop oiler for the one drop permanent rating. Oh, oh open the cold pump, old, open the cold pump, pump turbine easing drain valve set S220. Um, um, slowly admit the seam to the cold pump of the turbine, you for the valve, and the how the seam line with the closed drain with the valve SC20 after the pump is running. Fill the boiler to about three inches below with the center of the gauge glass with the number that will be filled with the boiler over the, the center of the glass with the, with the result of the carry over the water in the superheat with the turbine success for the water can be drained through the boiler through the blowdown valves SW600, 601, and 631. Um, the boiler is filled with the shut off the steam with the cold pump with the steam valve with the roundhouse steam line with the disconnect of the hose, then shut the cold pump steam valve to S for 649 with the place the cap of the steam connection. Close the valve on 421, 4, W4, 4, um, open the valve 41.3, the chemical batch for tank for the 441, W41. Close the valve SW712 with the feed with the water line connecting with the hose for the be sure to plug in the cap of this line. Second method, using external water pressure for the 30 psi or greater to connect the hose over the, from the water source for the cold pump to discharge the W4, W, W. 39 valve with the left rear of the locomotive. Follow steps 2, 3, 4 for the previous filling method. Open the filling valve with the 40, W43, W39 with the tender valve with the W47 and W2. The follow steps 9, previous filling method. The water the bo when the boiler is filled with the shelf of the water valve with the W4, uh, W39 with the hose, hose, hose line, the valve with the disconnect of the hose. Follow the steps 11, 12 on the previous filling method. 7. Open the tender valve of W1 and W2. Third method, using an electrical power or tender. The connect, um, electrical pump or tender. Connect the pump, pump, pump motor to the receptacle to the 220 volt 3 um, phase 60, cy 60 cycle source of the power, um, power. Follow the steps 2, 3, and 4 with the first sub filling method. Open the tab or valve W48. W4, Starting the electrical pump at the following step 9 with the first filling with the method to stop the disconnecting the pump filling. Follow steps 11 and 12 with the first filling method. Open tender valves W47 and W2. W1, W2, central boiler operator openings. Ever the filling boiler is inspection position should be made with the bolt inside the outside of the boiler for the water leakage of any of the found that should be reported in the boiler side of the site and the gas side of the boiler should be closed. The principal openings are as follows. The air duct doors, the three end of the safety valves well with one at the front end of the roof. Boiler bank cavity doors, one at the each of the boiler over e, uh, over the rear of the truck. The wind, bo wind box door for four on each side of the above the boiler ash pan. All right, cinder pan doors four underneath the boiler in the front of the rear of the truck. Ash pan door three on each side of the boiler. Ash pan and seven on the bottom. Check, check auxiliaries. Lay in fuel bed. Lay in fuel bed within the boiler filled with the proper level of the gas and water side with the tight oil. While all valves is cold with the sharp position. Check out the front end of the auxiliary. Lay in fuel bed as follows. Connect the two hoops of the roundhouse seam with the one with the three twenty two eighteen and as the front of the boiler one stack of the jet stack jet valves S six thirty at the right side of the power compartment connect the air uh, connect the hose to the air supply um, hose to control the air receiver connection open the valves S two eighteen S six thirty air and air valve. 
Establishing air supply by opening the roundhouse air pilot, check that oil air boiler and look control open the fireman council for the engine station with switch all the selector valve of the hand control with the knobs to the ground zero pressure with the gauge D on the black hand and right gauge set pressure control the AC one thousand two pointers but at three hundred PSI gallons. Open the valve in roundhouse seam that to S218. Open the master valve 7 S214. Open the inner wire to open the valve S214. Engage the pin latch to the close S214. When control air reaches 30 psi gallons, as indicated on the gauge let A of the left gauge on the stroker side electric valve, to turn the control knob to give the 3 psi gauge on the gauge on the D gauge D. Check the cold bunker for personnel. Turn the stroker. Shut off cock valve AV one ten fourteen to on position that should open the valves S two oh three close all the valves on the stroker jet manifold S two oh nine and open master valve S two oh six. Check for plug stroker jets and opening each of the valve manifold manifold separately and then closing it and if the pressure remains at the gauge after the valve is closed, the jet is plugged clearly and in plugged in, and clearly any plug jet before proceeding. Set the stroker jet manifold valve to even, evenly cold distribution. We note the approximately setting for the valves are valve to the left of the right facing manifold 10, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 10 psi gauge. Turn stroker shut off cock AV 10, 14 off. Open the stroker jet control valve bypass S 245. The stroker valve valve to the given the nine psi gauge control pressure gauge J. Um, open the valve of the S 244 with the outlet grate with the reducing valve the S 219. Grate drive should be operated with note the open cylinder drain with the clear of the cylinder with the condensate with open the slicer jet valves s24 18 check with the plug jet and plug jets and see that the closed s24 8 after the great drive great great drive warms up to turn the stroker selector valve to give the six psi gauge with the great gauge g but the great drive should stop with the furnace turbulator for the turn on the check the turbulator jets um, you close the valve S244, close the stroker jet control valve by S245, then turn the stroker jet shut off cock on, then shut the stroker selector valve by 6 psi gauge on the gauge D. And if any minute, it, it may be necessary to rock the stroker engine with a reverse lever S249 to start it. The reverse valve with the operator was located in the locker with the room at the right side. Lay 1 to 2 inch of the coal evenly over the grate, stop in the intervals. Observe the distribution correct. Jet pressures are found necessary. Note that if the grate is clean, it will be necessary to spread the coil with the two front corner of the grate by the hand with the late, the late at least two inch fuel bed. Pump the grate for the grate bear, great, great bearings for the short intervals run with the stroke to 15 psi gallons. Uh, gallons on selector valve with adjust the gate with the entrance to the inspection box for the slightly excessive of the coals over the screw that exists with the inspection box for the under of the floor of the locker, locker, locker room. The roller sub of the ball to the oil waste with the rag several locations on the fuel bed with the install of the jet ho table hole. Hood close the inner fire door. Note that leaving the inner fire door open will reduce the head draft through the grate. Turn the slight stack jack, jet cock the AV 10 to 19 to the on position. Check the oil level and the reduction gear cave for the per, um, per turbine with the main feed water with the booster pump with the power with the compartment. I'll check with the oil level the emergency feed water with the coal pumps on the rear span. Bolster adjust the drop of the oil pumps with the, the one drop per minute with the feed rate. Cover the battery circuit with the controls and stand. Check with the loop oil, low loop oil pressure light with the trip indicated with the light is both lit. Slowly open the steam valve within the roundhouse line with the S2630 with the wish will start the auxiliary oil pump to jack jet to check the auxiliary oil pump for proper operation to begin with the continuing operations necessary for the oil pressure for the turbine gear on the blower loop or system control system to be established neither the turbine stop of the valve nor the blower can be operated with this oil pressure. Oil pressure is normally supplied with the shaft driven main the oil pump with the main pump that's not working with the pressure supplied with the auxiliary pump which operates the boiler steam at the 125 psi above the roundhouse steam boiler steam is not um, available. Check the low lube oil pressure indicator light and the triple indicator light that has been gone on out after the oil pump the boiler eyes are operating with this the trip light if it's not open crank the stop valve hand by the full closed position and pull the manual trip handle to the reset position light should go out after each of the either of the both of these operations. Turn on the ash ship switch, AE1018, um, to on position, turn the switch of the off, off of the after ash jet, jet system operates satisfactorily at the timer system to check the hand operating with the ash jet and jets and with the push button valve with the AB1044 and AB1064. Um, provided at the boiler front with a note that these ash jet timers operate with a 10 minute cycle and blows once every the two groups every five minutes for 10 seconds. 
All right, E, light, light the light the fire. Um, in all previously outlined steps that have been filed correctly with the boiler is ready to be fired in order to make the trip that this is make um use the checkoff list for the recommended the fire may be done by any one of the using a usable method oil touch the recommended uh, oil touch is recommended the airflow from the fuel bed for the is to open the fire door front of the gate. It is important that the fire be initially lighted at the back of the gate under the arch and so that it spreads in the direction of the airflow not against it. The extremely difficult to spread the fire from the front of the grate towards the arch. The inner fire door must be kept closed with the outer end uh, closed and the outer fire door open with the operating with all stack jets in ordinarily to obtain maximum de draft through the fuel bed. All right, five. The raise for the stream with the half of the stream connected with the half of the fire is just up. The stream pressure might be raised for the boiler at about 10, 20 psi gallons higher than the roundhouse steam pressure before the switching of the boiler system. There should be enough water in the boiler to last through the period with the step in rising steam are indicated as follows. Nerf the fire spread over the entire gate. Close the superheater drum. The uh, superheater drains SH 639, 640, 641, 642, but the steam blows freely from them. Close the drum of event S683 when steam blows forcibly from it. About 30 to 50 psi gallons of drum pressure that's closed in the power of the boiler pull. Boiler blower turbine drain of the SH 636, SH 638, but do not shut off the light. No, the, no. Um, there must be a flow of the steam through the superheater with the main steam line, but at all times protect the superheater of the tubes from burning out. Once the power of the blower turbines are started on the boiler steam, this drains may be shut off with the tightly. When the fire has spread over the most of the fuel bed on the steam valve, the S206 and S244 fire coal intermediately slowly with the soccer selector valve on hand. When the boiler steam pressure exceeds the roundhouse steam pressure by 20 psi gallons, slowly open the auxiliary steam stop valve S613, open the sack jet with the oil pump steam valve S864. Shut the valves S218 and S230 with the, um, to hope to slowly disconnect the after shutting of the valve, off the valves and roundhouse steam lines. Increase the boiler pressure for the boiler should not operate within its own steam, but the pressure could be increased with the valve 300 psi gallons to start the boiler, put boiler blower using the selector valve the AV1013 on the hand with the closer outer field fire door before the starting of the blower. Turn the sack jet cock AV1019 to off the side. Start with the cold pump with the cock AV1016 to the on position. Check with the pressure. The gauge marked with the water to heater. Continue the feed cold with the at a rate with increase the boiler steam pressure without smoking, but not over 6 to 7 psi gallons control pressure on the Joker selector valve no. During the period of this raising, the steam pressure of the 300 psi gallons is necessary to frequently cut back on the master valve. S206 of the stroker jets are actually auxiliary steam pressure is also rising at its normal pressure of 250 gallons um, psi gallons. Um, to also reduce the control pressure on the boiler blower selector valve as boiler block, blower, blower picks up the speed increasing the steam pressure about 170 psi gallons below the pressure turning the main feed pump cock the AV 10101Y to the on position checking for the pressure on the gauge bank marked with the water pressure boiler booster pump with the pressure and heat pressure feed water intermittently to the boiler using the feed water selector valve AV 107, uh, 10, 1007 in the hand at the engine man section do not allow the water level to exceed half the glass all right, close the pump of the blow with the turbine, dr pump per power turbine steam line drain drain is 270 S220 to S2010 200 SH638 and S636. Switch the ash jet timer to AE1018 on the open line with the cylinder drain with the check of the oil reserve level at both air. All right, start each air compressor by slowly opening it is in steam valve close the drain after you the after it's running fire at a steady rate with it bring up the pressure for the 300 gallon psi gallons in about the 10 minutes with when about ps 10 300 psi gallons reduce sugar level with the blower, blower selector valve control pressure level out of the rare of the of the at the pressure level out the feed water with the rate and maintain the feed water at the center of the glass check the emergency feed water pump with the holding the push buttons ab1102 and ab1101 and the until feed water gauge if they tell telltale jump then indicating the the pump of the head started and the release AB1102 will release the AB1101 after being satisfied and the emergency pump that was running with the indicated with the drinking water pressure gauge. Switching the selector valve of the automatic in the following order with the feed water blower and the stroker note that one of the uh, automatic controls moving the knob and the selector valve has no effect on the control pressure. H. Automatic control of the blower is now on the automatic control. The steam pressure should be raised about to 550 psi gallons as follows. All manually operative valves should be checked according to the table C entitled with the valve checklist and normal operation blank bank started. 
Increase the blood pressure to 450 psi gallons by turning the pointer on the pressure control AC 1020 1001 in steps of not more than 20 psi gallons at a time. Note: Do not increase the set point with a higher enough to raise the low pressure gauge for the pressure control beyond 222 psi gallons. Wait after each of the increase until the load pressure ceases to change, and then increase the set point to point again. When the blood pressure has reached 400 gallon, 400 psi, crank the main power turbine stop valve with hand wheel to follow open full open position. Steam should be blow with the condensate drain down stop of the throttle valve. Push the main trip uh, handle to the trip position. Check the, the trip indicator and light is on. The blow of the machine steam through the condensation drain um, should, should stop. File. Pull the manual trip handle to the reset position. Crank the stop valve hand wheel to the front. Little close position. Bank of the full open position. All right, with reverse level forward and throttle in the idle with the start of the power turbine, allow it to warm up the idle start speed at least 20 minutes after the warm-up close with all condensation drains that are open and then gradually bring the boiler up to 550 PSI gallons. Adjust the fuel air ratio rate necessary by the knob on the boiler blower controller. If the normal setting is marked on the Svensel on the index scale, do not give go below one, below one or five on the scale. Banked boiler number two.